So students, as your NEET 2024 counselling is about to start, you must know the list of documents required for the same. But before that, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Now let us talk about the first thing that is passport size photos. So you should have eight passport size photographs. That is must. Then, bacha, these passport size photographs should be same as the photograph that is in your NEET admit card 2024. Right. And second thing is your NEET 2024 admit card. Like this is how it looks like. You should have the original as well as the printouts as well as the photocopies of this admit card. Right. All the documents that I am stating here, you should have the original as well as the three to four photocopies of that document to be safe here. Right. Then, Bacha, you have next thing that is your NEET 2024 scorecard. This is already uploaded on your NTA website. You can check that and download it and take a print of that. Right. This is how it will look like. Okay. Okay, you can see that and this is how it is going to look like, right? Then, Bacha, next thing is your 10th and 12th certificate and mark sheet. Now, if you don't have certificate, mark sheet is also fine, but you should have the original mark sheet here, right? The original that your school has given you, right? This is your 10th mark sheet. This is your 12th mark sheet, okay? This is how it is going to look like, okay? Depending on the states as well, state board or your CBSE board. Right. Then, Bacha, next thing is your ID proof. Now, ID proof, ma'am, which ID proof? There are so many ID proofs that you can use. Aadhaar card, driving license, voter ID, PAN card. But usually, students don't have, uh, don't have PAN card or voter ID or driving license. So, I think Aadhaar card will be perfect here. Right. Aadhaar card, all the students have. Right. And the front copy and the back copy. Also, one thing, whenever you are taking the photocopies of all the original documents, Make sure that these documents are, these uh, these photocopies are self-attested. That means your signature should be there. Okay, only then that document is considered as a verified document. Right? Then, Bacha, next thing is your domicile certificate. Now, this is very important for those students who want to get admission from state quota. Right? If you want to get admission from state quota, quota you should have your domicile of that state. Only then you will have, you will be eligible for that state quota. Otherwise, not. Right? Then, Bacha, you have next thing is uh, the documents that you require from your school. Three documents you mostly require. That is school living certificate. School living certificate means uh, they will tell, okay, uh, this student has not done any malpractice, anything here. This is how the it is going to look like. So, this you can get from your school. Right? This is a very important certificate. Okay? To, now, Bacha, next thing is your transfer certificate. Now, let us talk about who require transfer certificate so now but uh, for example you are a partial robber right and you are already you are already doing some bsc or anything right so now transfer certificate is basically school to school transfer or college to college transfer right so you require this transfer certificate here okay transfer required uh, transfer certificate is required by when you want to transfer from one college to the another college right this is how it is going to look like you can see this is how it is going to look like this is the format of the transfer certificate right this you will get from your college then but our next thing is your migration certificate now this migration certificate is required for everybody because uh, so many colleges and BS colleges they require migration certificates from the schools right so this you will get this is how it is going to look like right and this you will get from your school then but sir next thing is your uh, medical certificate so now medical certificate is not necessary for those who are not medically fit this is uh, not medically fit these are also required if you want to prove that, yes, I am medically fit. So, some of the institutes, they require medical certificate or we can say health certificate. But this should be uh, assigned by some government doctor, okay? Prefer any government doc uh, doctor apart from any uh, private hospital, right? Government hospital certificate will be more preferable here, right? Then, Bacha, next thing you have is your category certificate. Now, this category, any category you are belonging to, EWS, OBS, SC, ST or any other category, also the PWD category. Now, this is how it is going to look like, okay? Your caste or your category certificate, right? Next thing is gap certificate. Now, this gap certificate is required by those students who are not doing anything here. Okay, if you are doing something, some graduation, some other graduation course you are pursuing, then you require the 
transfer certificate right but if you are doing not doing anything uh, you can't say that i am taking coaching here okay that is not regarded as doing something okay so if you are not doing anything not doing any course right that will be regarded as the gap certificate okay for that you will require this kind of gap certificate this you can uh, get from the court right this is simple affidavit that you will require right then bachcha you will have uh, this equivalency certificate now see this equivalency certificate most of the students don't know about this all the students who want to get enrolled to any college in telangana especially government medical colleges in telangana and sometimes andhra pradesh also they also ask this right so for that if you are not in uh, if you want to for example uh, i am from bihar right i want to take admission to telangana college now what i require is i require this equivalency certificate where they will say that this is to inform you that class 12th this is this of bihar school examination board is equivalent to intermediate examination conducted by telangana state board that means basically we are saying that the kind of uh, uh, kind of questions that bihar or gujarat any state that set is equivalent to telangana state as well so this you require and also if you are from cbse board i will make a dedicated video on this uh, equivalency certificate for telangana counseling right in detail i will make a video you must watch that video because otherwise your seat in telangana you will lose that right so this is a very important certificate right okay i will also tell you how to get that certificate now bachcha if you still have then after this beta uh, this particular certificate that is neat allotment letter this is not required in counseling but after the counseling they have allotted a college to you then while uh, taking the admission in that college right you will uh, require this all the documents other documents you require right plus you require this neat allotment certificate right this will be on your mail right the college that they have allotted you right then bachcha if you still have any doubt right regarding the counseling because this is a very big process right you must know all the details of the counseling here right so we have free neat counseling booklet for you that is totally free of cost the link is in the description now what you will get from here first thing is cut off marks and ranks of all the mbbs colleges in india right this is all for neat 2024 right then bachcha top 50 colleges of india then you will require the handwritten process right how it is going to look like in the counseling right so uh, the step by step expected counseling process by neat experts then bachcha you will have the list of government medical colleges deemed medical colleges private medical colleges and the number of seats available in all these colleges right then bachcha you will have courses beyond mbbs apart from mbbs then you will have also internship or research related project in these indian medical colleges if you want to pursue that all the things are totally free of cost that link is in the description go and download it fast and go through the booklet right you must be aware of what is going to happen in the counseling so beta if you have any doubt you can write it down in the comment section and if you have already sorted all the documents here write yes ma'am already done in the comment section thank you so much bye bye take care jai hind